Las Vegas, the city that never sleeps. And it's home to a world-class car collection that never closes either. Right on the Strip, seven days a week throughout the year, you can walk among the Imperial Palace Hotel and Casino's collection of 800 rare, classic and celebrity cars. Everywhere you look, there's a legend. From the incredible Isotta Franchini to Elvis Presley's Gas Guzzler. In between, there's Marilyn Monroe's car in Mink and even Howard Hughes' car is out in the open. Behind the candelabra, Liberace. And there's plenty of presidential cars to choose from. We leave it to you to decide whether you prefer the car to its previous owner. There are hundreds of glittering American classic cars. And there's one very special car I've come to see. First, I checked in with the collection's director, ex-auctioneer Hagen Stewart. The collection was started by the Imperial Palace Hotel and Casino in 1981. We decided to give the opportunity to the public to see some of the antique and classic cars that have been offered throughout the world. So how many people come through here each year? We have approximately two to two and a half million per year. That's quite a number and you're open very long hours too. We're open seven days a week from 9.30 a.m. to 11.30 p.m. Okay, so what would you say was maybe the most valuable car here? Uh, probably be question. hard to say. I've got a Mercedes 500K that's a very rare and unusual car. I've got a couple of Duesenbergs that are probably in excess of three million dollars. So it's hard to say the most valuable. And which are your most favorite? I'm very favorite is the Duesenberg cars. No one in particular, just the Duesenberg in general. Why is that? They were just so far ahead of their time for in the 30s, the engineering of the engine, the transmission, the self-lube uh, oil, just quite a well-built car. And it's one particular Duesenberg I've come to see, this magnificent 1931 Model J Murphy-bodied Beverly sedan. It appeared at America's exclusive Pebble Beach Concourse event. This car was restored by residents of Indian Springs. We have two restoration shops, one here in Las Vegas itself and then one out in Indian Springs Prison. Uh, all the cars are basically completely restored, stripped down, painted, uh, engine mechanical and everything so that once they come back here they all are in running condition. And how did you build up the connection with the prison? It started about two years ago. Uh, Mr. Richie Klein, the administrator of the collection, got together with the wardens of the prisons and decided it would be a rehabilitation program and a training program for the prisoners and also be benefit to us. With that one invitation, the prison restoration team have acquired real status. A uh, gentleman out at the prison did a complete restoration, interior, exterior, and uh, did a beautiful job. We took it to Pebble Beach this year, uh, also took it to the Auburn Cord show in uh, Auburn, Indiana this year, which it won a prize there. Mm -hmm. Did a very nice job on it. How did it do in the uh, concourse competition? Pebbles Beach, it, uh, it's such competition up there. Uh, we did not place, but it was just a pride that we've got the car in there and it was restored by the prisoners, which was a real special for Richie and I to have that car up there. Frustrating for them that they couldn't go along, I guess. Yes, very much so. Yeah. <laughs> but there's always next year or the year after, because one thing these guys have got is a lot of time on their hands. So in the second part of our report, I'll be dropping in at the desert prison where the convicts turn wrecks into treasures.